Probably no surprise, Minister, and along with Senator Doherty, I want to talk about chart hop zones. Uh, it's something that I've spoken to you about previously, and it's something I've spoken to the NTA about previously. And I believe that we need to extend the short hop zone to Newbridge. That will have a positive effect on the stations in Atoy, Kildare Town, Monster Evan and Port Harrington. Um, it's an issue that the Labour Party in Newbridge have fought for, uh, for a long time, and, and indeed the people of South Kildare have been fighting for, as you know, for a long time. Power press commuters are bypassing Newbridge. Uh, and other Kildare stations, and they're driving to Salins. And what makes that remarkable, Minister, is government have invested in a new car park in Salins. The M7 and N7 is not more than a car park. And once you get to kill every morning, Minister, you're stopped. And a journey that should take you 10 minutes is now taking 40 minutes. I want to acknowledge, as I've done other times in this House, the youth travel card. It's something I pushed for. And I'm glad that you as a Minister brought that in. And it has made a difference. And we need just to extend that. We need to go for that €9 Euro monthly ticket, or we need to go for that free travel. And that will make the difference. It will take the pressure off the roads. It will improve everything that we're fighting for in relation to climate. Government need to take action. They need to extend the short hop zone for not just Kildare, the other counties that Senator Doherty spoke about today. We need to stop the N7 being a car park every morning as it is at the moment. Senator Doherty and Senator Wall both mentioned the short hop, and, and you're absolutely right. The patterns you talk about, the likes of Salins, absolutely that's happening. We need to address that. We will in the coming weeks. It's due, and we'll be giving details about that shortly.